What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can overclock your controller, which is going to reduce input delay if you play controller on PC and it's going to give you the best experience possible. If you have already done this in the past and you play on the PS5 controller, you're going to want to do this again because with a recent firmware update to the PS5 controller, you can get much faster response time. So traditionally, the fastest response time you could get is one millisecond. With this updated firmware, you're going to get an eighth of a millisecond, which is significantly faster. You would think the difference between one millisecond and an eighth of a millisecond, is that really noticeable? I didn't think it would be, but I'll talk about that later on in the video. I definitely would recommend doing this. So if you do play PS5 controller, you're going to want to update your firmware and it'll say firmware 0307. That is the most recent one and that is the one that's going to allow you to get this updated uh, pulling rate or faster pulling rate on your controller. So the next thing you're going to want to do is there will be a link down in the description below to hit USBF. It'll get, bring you to this website and you just click it, download zip, and then once you download that, extract it and it's going to give you this. And so you open this and then you go to hit USBF, driver, setup, and then it's going to ask you if it can make changes. You say yes. And then now you're gonna have to find your controller. Go to all devices. And if you're playing a, play, a PS5 controller, it's audio endpoint headset microphone. But if you can't find your controller for whatever reason, just unplug it, it'll disappear. And then when you plug it back in, you'll be able to find out which one it was. And this works for all controllers, but it works best for PlayStation controllers. So now hover it over your PlayStation controller, whatever controller you're playing, you're gonna get install service, open, and then you're going to go to select the rate. You're going to do 8,000 if you play PlayStation 5 controller. Anything else, you're going to want to do 1,000. So PS5 controllers, as of right now, are the only ones that can go 8K. If you're playing PS4 or Xbox, go 1,000. Once again, install service, open. And then finally, filter on device, install service, open. And then you're going to be left with this. Then this is going to be your updated version of your controller you can unplug it and plug it back in and it'll reappear and then the buy interval is going to be one because that is how fast it's updating or whatever um, and that's all you have to do you don't have to open this up every time you play the game or anything like that one thing you will have to do is i said this is overclocking your controller because that's just what it's called that is what people refer to this as but what you're really doing is overclocking the usb port on your pc so if you unplug your controller from your pc slot that it's in and then plug it into a different one you're gonna have to redo this you're not doing anything to controller it's just the usb port that it's plugged into and that's another reason why this is exclusive to controller on pc you can't do this to your controller and then plug it into console and have any different happen. It's just for PC, and it's gonna give you the best reaction time possible that you can get with your controller when playing on PC. So that's gonna be how you do this. I'm going to go to some gameplay now and kind of talk about my experience with this and why I think it's actually worth doing because initially one millisecond versus an eighth of a millisecond, is that really noticeable? But we'll talk about that in the next part of the video. So. Like I said, there's not that much of a difference. With one millisecond, you're already at such a low response time that anything lower is really gonna be diminishing returns. If you haven't overclocked your controller at all and you're just doing this for the first time, you probably will see a lot of benefit. But with going to 8,000 megahertz, what I really noticed is that my aim was insane. It's not like I plugged, I just like got on the game and then immediately was like, okay, yeah, this is a huge difference. But for whatever reason, Ever since I've done this, my aim has been much better, especially with like the hammer AR, like mid to long range tracking has just felt so much smoother for me than it did prior to doing this. Just for whatever reason, the way that works, I don't know, but making those small adjustments is just a night and day difference for me. And that's really the only way I've noticed this. Like I said, if you haven't overclocked at all and you're just doing this for the first time, you probably will see a decent like difference in your gameplay. But if you're someone who already had this set up and you're going from one millisecond to an eighth of a millisecond, I personally only noticed the difference on aim. But even if it isn't a huge difference, you want to have the lowest response time possible, right? Like why would you want to have slightly more delay if you can get even lower? So I'd recommend doing this. It doesn't take long to set up at all. It's super easy. And once you do it, you don't have to worry about it unless you end up changing ports that your controller is plugged into. That is going to be a bit it for this. I'm going to let some gameplay play out from stream recently. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below if this is something that you're going to be doing. Yeah, exactly. 
I don't play on that server. Are these teaming? How pissed do you think he is? We just fried him. Maybe this person just wasn't doing anything. I don't, maybe they weren't teaming. Because this person just like literally didn't have a gun. I thought at first that maybe they just didn't get out because there's no rebooting because we're in solos. And since I had them weak, they thought like maybe that their friend would finish it. That was almost bad though. If they were actually teaming, I think I would have died there because that first guy did so much more damage to me than what was, what should have happened. Like I just choked my shotgun shots, they hit for like nothing. That sucks, man. I wanted to like heal and save my chilies. I guess I pissed. He probably didn't know that that was a thing that you can do. He seemed to be very surprised that I just climbed up there, man. I was like the little girl in the ring climbing out of the, the well. This is a drone, I think. My is beaming right now, too. The girl crawling out of the TV? Yeah. That's like the only scary movie I've ever been scared by when I was little. Like TV static. I mean, it's not like I'd be panicky scared, but like, I didn't like that sh you know? Do static TVs even exist anymore? I feel like that just like, It's not a thing. Dude, I need to restart my game after this. I guess we just go over here and then hopefully there's hollow chests with uh, splashes in it or fish. This is so awkward, man. I don't know what's in zone. I'm guessing he's over here somewhere. He's yeah, okay. He sniped Dodge Ram. I thought he was gonna come from the other side though.
Can I please just get up there? Like, holy... The most inconvenient part of that fight was just shockwaving onto this platform. That was extra for no reason, GG's.